Hi everybody and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today an Indiana bourbon. This one is Old 55. So this here is their single barrel bourbon. It's, uh, it's bottled at 55.8%, uh, uh, so it's 111.6 proof. Uh, it's distilled in Newton, Indiana off of, you guessed it, uh, Route 55. And um, for anyone who cares, this is batch 18D4, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I said, this one is uh, it's an Indiana bourbon. I picked this up a couple years ago uh, on my way back from, uh, I was camping out in Turkey Run uh, State Park. And you know, I you know gotta look, gotta look for all the local distilleries or you know anything in the in the surrounding areas. So what we've got on the nose here, a heavy dose of corn for sure. I picked this one up a couple years ago. Um, you know, they took me. Uh, they took me around their uh, their their little operation. You know, it was kind of a little family operation, very small. Um, and um, I can't remember. And I I don't think they told me what the mash bill was. Um, I, I do think it's a it's a rye as a secondary grain. But uh, I have no idea what the percentage is. Based on the nose, I'm guessing it's a fairly high corn content. You know, somewhere it, at least in the 70s, I, I, I would say, percent-wise. So yeah, heavy corn. I do get a note of, uh, of milk chocolate on the nose here as well. There's a little bit of an earthiness. I mean, it's not overly complex, but it is a fairly interesting nose. Hmm. All right, on the palate here, sweet, very very buttery, almost, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like a, a buttered popcorn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that grain, that corn is still very, very prominent. I'm still getting that, uh, that kind of that milk chocolate undertone. Kind of an afterthought, second to the corn, but uh, but yeah, it's definitely in there. And yeah, I mean it's it's really quite sweet. And um, I wonder if that has something to do with the process, you know. So mo most bourbons, most most whiskeys, really, um, they have a a certain content of malted barley as a, as a part of the as a part of the mash bill. You know, I mean, you go to Scotland or Ireland, it's the whole, the whole mash bill is, is malted barley. And in, uh, in a lot of bourbons or ryes, they'll use, you know, you know, a high percentage of the, uh, of, of, of the, the main event grain. You know, if it's a bourbon, it's, you know, at least 51% bourbon. If it's a rye, the same for rye. And they use the, uh, the cereal grain, the flavor grain, uh, which for a bourbon is typically rye, sometimes wheat. And then there's usually about eight to twelve percent of the mash bill is uh, is malted barley, and uh, and the reason they're doing that they're not doing that for for any kind of a flavor impact, um, you know per se it's more of a uh, you know they need the enzymes from uh, from the malting process and if you're not familiar malting is you know it's essentially you take you take the grain you take the barley and you soak it in water for a couple of days until it starts to sprout. So it thinks it's gonna become a barley plant and you have to stop that process so you're gonna crush its streams or you know, make them come true depending on your point of view. And, uh, and you dry, you're, you're gonna remove the water and dry it in the kiln. And, uh, and I guess the, uh, 
that, that initial molting process where it starts to sprout creates some kind of enzyme. And, uh, and it's those enzymes that, uh, that help the yeast digest those starches, those sugars uh, from, from the cooking mash, the, you know, the other grains in there, and, uh, and convert them to alcohol. So there's, there's only a couple of, uh, I mean, there, it, it does have, there are a couple of distilleries that, I've, that I know of personally that, uh, that don't use any malted barley grain. And, um, and I know Old, Old 55 here is one of them, because I, I asked them about their barley and, and they had no idea what I was talking about. Um, and I think in a lot of those situations, the uh, distillers that I've, that I've heard, I, you know, I, had, I didn't ask Old 55 about this, but a lot of distillers will actually add enzymes um, to their mash while it's cooking, I, you know, I, I'm guessing for that for that same that same process. So I, I don't know what kind of effect that has on the final flavor. You know, if you're adding enzymes uh, as opposed to getting them naturally from the uh, from the barley, but um, I, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do why with with why this is a uh, a much sweeter bourbon than uh, than I'm used to. Anyway, I digress. Finish here is medium length. There is a there's a hint of a cinnamon spice or maybe a maybe a brown sugar in there. The main event is definitely definitely the sweetness on this one here. Um, not a whole lot of spiciness to speak of, and um, you know, it, strange enough, you know, for a 111 proof bourbon, you, you, you really you expect it to be kind of hot. There, but there's no ethanol at all here. So it, it leaves you with a lot of that sweetness and, uh, and yeah, just, just a little bit of brown sugar, I'd say, on the palate. Okay, so let's rate this one here. Uh, we had the, uh, on, on, on the nose, we did have uh, some of that corn uh, grain come, come right through with a little bit of that milk chocolate. Um, and a very nice round earthiness. Um, it was it was a very very interesting very prominent nose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give the uh, the nose 19 points on this one. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's I I think we're started to go downhill a little bit from here. Uh, on the taste, again, very very sweet. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to get past that, but uh, I, I mean. It, Right away on the palate, you had uh, you, you had more of that sweet corn. You had um, you know a little bit of that butteriness, you know, almost kind of resembled a butterscotch or a buttered popcorn. Then there was again a little bit of that milk chocolatiness in there, um, and and once again noteworthy that uh, that despite being almost 112 proof, it's uh, wasn't very hot in terms of uh, in terms of alcohol burn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the taste on this one 17.5 points. For the finish, uh, medium length, again very sweet. Um, the uh, it was just the main event throughout. Um, hint of cinnamon spice, a little bit of brown sugar. Um, you know, not uh, not a whole lot else I can say. Um, you know, again, nothing off-putting here, but um, but just nothing astounding. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the finish for this one 17 points. And then for the balance, I mean, we definitely had good continuity of flavors throughout. Um, you, you had that, that, that corn grain, that, that, that milk chocolate, that uh, note that kind of carried throughout. Um, but I think, I think you know what I'm going to say here. It's just um, a little off balance in terms of uh, you, you needed something to, uh, to, take the, uh, to, take, to cut through some of that sweetness. You know, and if that was maybe a higher rye content or uh, or a, a heavier barrel char, I have no idea what the barrel char they uh, they used on this one, or, or even how old it is. I mean, it's a nice, it's it's got a nice color here, uh, but I would have liked to see something to uh, to cut through that sugariness a little bit. So I think for the overall balance, I'm going to put this one at uh, at 16.5 points, and uh, and that's going to leave us with an overall score for this old 55 single barrel bourbon of 70 points. No, all that aside, I mean, I did sample a number of uh, a number of their different products there at their uh, at their little distillery. It was uh, it, it was a very good tour, very nice people, 
and uh, and they did have some interesting things going on. I mean, they had a couple of a uh, couple of really nice barrel proof products. Um, a couple of interesting ideas they had. I, I, they were telling me about the process. They were making a um, a, a sweet corn whiskey. You know, instead of using uh, feed corn, which you which is normally used for uh, for a bourbon, they were they were using a sweet corn, and and I guess the uh, you know, the process was really messy and really cumbersome. But they really really liked the final product, and I did get a chance to sample it while I was out there. It was very interesting. Um, it, it just they wanted a little bit too much for it, and I uh, wasn't willing to pay that. But um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would say if you're ever in the area in uh, Newton, Indiana, there. Driving down uh, old 55, go uh, stop in, and have a look. You know, maybe take a little tour and have a have a couple samples. Maybe you like them. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, please hit that like button if you haven't done so already. It really does help out the channel. And uh, and then of course subscribe if you're not already a member of my channel. Uh, I will be coming out with videos on a weekly basis again. And um, yeah, I hope I hope to see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.